everyone welcome back to explore electronics in this video let's see the module 2 questions which are appeared in the model question paper of introduction to electronics engineering subject in the module 2 we will be having oscillators and operational ampl amplifiers so the third question will be from module 2 it is on operational amplifiers here they have asked to sketch the circuit of each of the following based on operational amplifier that is differentiator and integrator so you can see here this is the differentiator circuit so here it is basically dependent on or the circuit derived from inverting amplifier if you see the inverting amplifier where this capacitor will be replaced by a resistor so that will be act as inverting amplifier so by taking that inverting configuration as the base differentiator is designed here so you need to put capacitor over here now we need to consider the current flowing through the capacitor and also the current flowing through the resistor since those two are equal if you derive the expression you will be getting the output expression as v out is equal to minus rf into c dv in divided by dt so here we are going to get the differential output with respect to the input we are going to apply so this is what the output expression is since the question consisting of only the circuit and we need to explain no need to derive this so simply writing the expression is sufficient and you need to write the waveform accordingly this is the input waveform we are going to give if it is a square wave it is the output we are going to get so here the output is equivalent to the rate of change of the input that is what the differentiator is similarly you can explain the integrator integrator circuit is also based on the inverting configuration inverting configuration where the feedback resistor is replaced by the feedback capacitor again if you derive the expression for v out it is integration of v in with respect to dt means we are going to get the output in terms of this component 1 divided by r1 c1 this minus indicating the inverting configuration here is the inverting terminal we are going to apply v in and integration of v in into dt this output will be a ramp output like this if you apply the square wave this much is sufficient for this question to get uh, this question is asked for 6 marks differentiator for 3 marks and integrator for 3 marks and you need to write the waveform like this also then coming to the third b question here it is again on op amp they have asked to write write a note on ideal characteristics of op amp this question is very very important many times it is repeated in examinations so so this question is very very important here you need to mention only the ideal op amp characteristics they have not asked the practical op amp characteristics here i have listed out the practical values also why because it is better to study these values also you may get question in exam to write ideal op amp characteristics as well as practical op amp characteristics so here the output open loop gain is infinite input impedance that is the resistance at the input side is infinite for the ideal op amp and output impedance is zero offset voltage requirement is zero slew rate is infinite bandwidth is infinite common mode rejection ratio is infinite you need to remember all these and my suggestion is that you need to remember the practical values also if they are asked in the exam then only you need to write the practical values otherwise these values ideal op amp characteristics are sufficient for this question here 7 point 7 to 8 points you need to remember each point carries one marks then it is 3c third question uh, c it is on oscillator single stage a stable oscillator circuit you need to explain the operation of that so this is the circuit of single stage a stable oscillator and here i have given the detailed explanation how actually the oscillations are going to be produced you can see here this is the output wave we are going to get as continuous oscillation you can explain this here the circuit carries two marks and explanation carries five marks and i have made a video on this how to explain the working of this you can go through that for the detailed understanding then we have a fourth question it is on oscillator again mention the condition for sustained oscillation we need to mention the conditions for sustained oscillation uh, that is the first half of the question determine the frequency of oscillations 
of a three stage ladder network oscillator where they have given c and r value so the two conditions are this question may ask as explain the barkusen criteria so barkusen criteria are uh, two points where he said to get the sustained oscillation to get the continuous sustained oscillation like this we need to have these two conditions satisfied in our circuit that means the feedback must be a positive feedback and the overall loop voltage gain must be equal to 1 that is amplifier gain into feedback factor should be equal to 1 and the total feedback should be 0 degree or 360 degree this is what the two conditions you need to explain first this carries 2 to 3 marks then we need to come to the problem and also in my problems video i have already explained the same problem uh, the same problem with the same values they have asked in the model paper you can go and see that video also for different problems on this so they have given c and r values for a three stage ladder network here you can see uh, one stage two stage three stage rc components here so we will be having a formula f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root 6 rc for a three stage ladder network oscillator so by taking this formula just you need to replace this r by the value which they have given r by 10 kilo ohm and c with 10 nanofarad then you are going to get 647 hertz as the frequency this is the simple problem here if they have given r1 r2 r3 c1 c2 c3 separately you need to use that particular formula since they have given r and c values assuming that this r values are same and this c values are same and you can use this formula directly then the next question is on crystal oscillator we need to write the diagram and the waveform for this here the quartz crystal how actually it is going to work to generate the oscillation you need to explain the piezoelectric effect and the frequency will be determined by the crystal cut and the physical size of the device and these are the frequencies it is going to generate and this circuit you need to explain and also you can write the waveform of this crystal oscillator how it is going to generate this carries 7 marks and with neat circuit diagram explain single stage multi vibrators here again single stage a stable oscillator is asked in the previous question here again they have asked to explain the single stage multi vibrator you can write the same a stable oscillator which i have explained in the previous question here also so since it is for 7 marks you can write the circuit again and also you can write the waveform accordingly and if you know any other explanation related to the single stage multi vibrators you can write that this is uh, making the answer simple just i put the same explanation here uh, which i have given for single stage a stable oscillator in the previous question this is about module 2 questions in the model question paper in the next video let us see module 3 questions and the solutions also you can go through these playlists for better understanding. Thank you.